So here we are at Netflix on Sunset Boulevard in Hollywood. Why are we here? Because Netflix had a section of their website called Palestine Stories, where they had 32 stories from Palestine. And just a week ago, those stories disappeared. So we're here with a petition um, that has been signed over 12,000 people to say, in the middle of a genocide, you take down the stories of the people that are being dehumanized and oppressed, the story that is being erased, you do that? So we're here to encourage them to not only reinstate the films that they took down, but we also have a list of another 20 they should add. I'm here today in front of Netflix because it's, whether intentional or not intentional, it's another example of Palestinian voices being silenced and made to disappear. I think it's really frightening to see that one of the biggest media platforms is pulling Palestinian voices from the platform and their films and their perspectives. It's kind of like the modern day version of like book burning, right? As a father, I have two kids and I have a newborn kids, you know, like 10 days ago. And uh, when I see those small kids getting killed and bombed every day, I just put my son uh, in their place, I lose my mind, you know, it's, yeah. hard. it's horrifying. The intentional murder of women and children to really prevent future generations of the Palestinian people while they continue to exterminate all of the people, regardless, whoever they are, it makes no difference. We are sending hundreds of billions of dollars to support this. We have a hundred billion dollars to send to Israel to support their national health care, to support their subsidized education. And we don't give that to our own citizens because we want to keep our own citizens so far down that they are available to corporate interests as slave labor. We want to criminalize homelessness so we can arrest these people, incarcerate them and put them to work, slave labor in prisons for corporations. I'm just can't believe that people brush this issue aside and think, oh, it's so far over there. I have always wondered how genocides can occur and they're occurring in front of all of us. And today I'm especially pissed off because uh, Israel voted to kick out UNRWA and the United States had sent a letter saying, if you don't stop starving the people and using starvation as a weapon of war, we're going to stop sending you weapons. Well, to kick out UNRWA is exactly that. It's to say the last vestige of food in a starving area is now going to be cut off. And it is imperative that somehow all of us make Biden and this genocidal government in the United States live up to what is in that letter and start the embargo immediately, immediately. And ceasefire now is not enough. It's, it's the minimum and it has to be done. But after ceasefire, there has to be um, end of occupation, liberation of Palestine. Delivered! Yes. <laughs> All right, we, did, we made it. We took us a while. Uh, right across the, the city, it has been delivered! Yeah. <laughs>